Swole Benji here. I'm here today to tell you why and how you are gearing up completely wrong. While you're doing these epic legendary weapon chains, while you're trying to get these legendary drops from these mobs at a 1% rate and a 10 minute respawn, the, this is crazy. They're, the way you are valuing these weapons is way off and I'm going to show you why you are valuing these weapons wrong. So let's just start talking about it, okay? First off, I want to compare, I'm just going to compare my weapon real quick to a item level 600 weapon, okay? So you can see here, this musket is an item or a gear score 523, and it does a base damage of 200, okay? You can see, this is a weapon that I've crafted. I literally spent minutes going with the materials to a bench and crafting it, okay? Uh, it took me almost no time to acquire, and I could buy one of these, probably for a thousand coin, I've sold at least 10 muskets around this power level with these mods around for a thousand coin. All right, so I did not spend 13 hours to two days doing a legendary quest. I didn't spend one hour and 45 minutes doing a PvP mission, which is still better than what a lot of people are doing. I didn't spend entire weekends, overnights, not going out, hanging out with people or seeing the world grinding the same legendary mob over and over and over again with 30 people, okay? And I'm going to tell you why that these items that you think are so legendary and so good and why they're not good, okay? So first off, let's take a look at this this weapon. It has a base damage of 200. Now, if I go into my dexterity, you can see it's, it's all into dex. Like, my entire gear set is pumping dexterity. So that 200 base damage is now raised to 1,311. So if I shoot a mob that is reasonably armored... And not a beast, because beasts take extra damage, just like a humanoid mob that is not resilient to thrust damage, that has, you know, not heavy armor. They will take around this amount of damage. Not a headshot. A headshot will deal about double this, a little bit more than double. But essentially, I'm going to hit this hard with a 200 damage weapon. Alright, so now I'm going to activate display capture and show you an item level 600... Uh, or a Chalco musket is 240 thrust damage, okay? So first off, let's calculate the percentage, and I did this already. So we have, let's just tab, where is it at? There it is, okay? So we're going to go to 1,311 damage, and divide it by 200, that's our base damage. So that is 655.5% increased damage, okay? So if we take an, a, a 240 you know, base damage, maxed out level 600 gear score gun. And we're going to add that by 655.5%. That gives us 1,573 base damage. So that gives us 262 more damage. Okay, which when you headshot that, that will be 500 additional damage. And then with percentage increases, it will be even more than that, right? So... Uh, the difference between 1,300 and 1,500, which we can just... 3 minus 1311, roughly 202 damage. So, uh, 1573 divided by 202 damage. Uh, it's, it's not too much, okay? It, essentially, what it boils down to is you're spending entire days and weekends to get less than a 20% damage upgrade, okay? That's not very much. Uh, if you just use a, the weakest honing stone, that's 20% increased damage already. So that basically gives you a gear score 600 weapon in terms of power. But another thing too is I, I just want to show you, uh, hold on, let me make sure I'm looking at the right thing here. I just want to show you like, like, like this, okay? This, these are legendary great axes, okay? Let's look at them now. Now here's what a newbie sees. They're going to mouse over this and they're going to be like, Oh my god, look how much strength this has. Holy crap, chain fire. Oh my god, fortifying whirlwind. I love that spell. This is an absolute garbage axe. This is a terrible axe. You should never ever bother getting this axe. Not once, unless you're doing some sort of weird great axe tanking build. This is like a tanking axe. Um, to, and generates aggro with chain fire. This is gar this is garbage. This is terrible. Uh, for one, if if any weapon has chain anything on it, this limits your gem socket availability. Okay, um, you essentially can't equip certain gems when it has chain because it's count it's counted as a fire elemental. It's it's weird. Okay, and uh, like mortal power, who cares? Fortifying whirlwind. This is a PVE thing. Like you you don't want this weapon. And how do you get it? You have to find this. 
in War Spoils, which um, I'm not entirely sure where that comes from. Um, maybe a dungeon? Uh, dungeons in this game can take hours to clear, especially if you have a bad group, okay? Uh, do you really want to spend hours to get a garbage tanking axe? I don't think so, but let's keep going, okay? So now you have this one again, a tanking axe. Uh, it's got an okay gem slot. Um, Mortal Energy is stupid, Keen Speed is stupid, and Refreshing Move. These are all stupid mods. This is, you can just buy a gray item level 600 axe and it would be just as good almost. Not quite, but nearly just as good as this, okay? And how do you get this one? You gotta farm a rare mob named Banes. Right over here uh, in Ebon Scale, it looks like. I believe this is Ebon Scale. No, Eden Grove. That's what I meant to say. So it's in Eden Grove. And you got to come here. And this guy's level 62. He's a, he's what, a two-star elite, I believe? I can't really... Yeah, he is an elite boss level 62. And he drops a bunch of other crap, too. So you are going to absolutely be farming this for hours. Maybe you'll get lucky and get it in 20 minutes. I don't know. But, it, but it's garbage. It's a waste of your time. Okay, Enforcer's Battle Axe, 30 Strength. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. An Empty Gem Socket, that's pretty good. Chain Fire, bad. Mending, bad. Keenly Jagged is okay, I guess. Last Stand, it's a Tanking Axe, again. Now, here's another thing, too. People see this insati Insatiable Gravity Well spell on the weapon, right? And they're like, oh my god, that is the best thing ever. That is the best mod. This makes it the best weapon in the game. Holy Toledo, right? Let me show you something, okay? When you craft a weapon... They can have certain perks, all right? And this is the percent chance, okay? Uh, so the perks, uh, we're going to scroll down here, and we're going to go to Insatiable Gravity Wolf. Guess what? This perk, it can be on your chest, your helmet, your gloves, your pants, and your shoes, okay? But if you look at this perk, like Keen, it can only be on weapons. So what that means is that the perk that you think is so cool, where was it? Insatiable Gravity Well? That is taking up a DPS or a damage increasing slot on your weapon, which you you can't have Keen on your armor, but you can have Gravity Well on your armor. So why would you ever put Gravity Well on your weapon? You you know you see what I'm saying? So it's a it's a complete wasted slot. This weapon, it's okay. It's 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 pretty good. How do you get it? Let's find out. You have to get this from a Dark Spriggan Cache, which is a dungeon chest. Uh, okay, now here's another thing with dungeons. If you haven't done the math yet on dungeons, just to make the orb, you have to grind hundreds of corrupteds. Okay, if you get into a group and you grind corrupted portals, great. You might have enough materials uh, besides buying about 5,000 worth of materials of other things on the market to be able to craft it, okay? It's, it's pretty hard to craft those things, and they're quite costly and time-consuming. And you can only craft, like, so many a day. And you can't just go buy them off the market. You have to... They're bind on pickup. You you have to find someone that crafts these and wants to run the dungeon. And even... You can run the dungeon for, for like, weeks, okay? And they may never drop. They may never, ever, ever drop. All right? So, I don't really know what else to say about this, except that you're spending a lot of time to get crabby gear that isn't really that good, okay? Um... So for starters, as soon as you hit 60, you can get your, you know, you can you can go get this stuff, right? Like uh, like this life staff has 25 focus and it has blessed, okay? If you're a healer for a war or a dungeon, you're going to want a stat, you're going to want to be focus based. You know, constitution also helps, but you're you're going to need focus so your heals actually hit, right? They hit a good amount. They heal for a decent amount. You're also going to want Blessed because that gives you a 20, that's a 25% increase in your healing, okay? So already, if you just got a item level 600 life staff that does not have Blessed on it, this heals for more than that. And there are so many life staffs that are legendary that don't have Blessed on them. So you're completely wasting your time to grind out 50,000 Covenant or just faction tokens in general. I have like two videos on my channel that talk about it. You can do it in under under two hours if you're slow, and under one hour, 15 minutes if you're speed running using a movement speed uh, build, okay? So this is something like, don't go out and do your legendary quest unless it's for a niche build or you really lo enjoy the look of it or something, right? You're completely wasting your time otherwise, okay? Uh, so that's like one option. The other option is to just go to the market. The, to the, the two to three to four days you've spent camping legendaries and running around with 40 people, you know, blowing up corrupted portals, getting literal scraps to do dungeons, and it still hasn't dropped yet, or those of you camping legendary spawns, guess what? 
say you're an axe user. Say you're a great axe user, right? And, um... Well, no, hold on. Let's, yeah, you are a great axe user. We're going to search for armor here. We're going to go to perks, and we're going to scroll down to um, the axe one. I've already forgotten the name. Uh, let me just uh, pull it up real quick. Hold on. I'm going to disable display capture for a sec here, just just to look it up. And uh, let's see. Mending. No, that's not the one I wanted. It's uh, it, it starts with Elm, I'm pretty sure. And it's going to have a little axe icon. Mending Execute. Well, let's just say you wanted Mending Execute. Pretend this is the, the Gravity Well one, right? So I'm going to search for Mending Execute on all armors. Hey, look! And I have it sorted by gear score. So if I wanted to use, like, a, a light armor for whatever reason, let's not do that. Like, this one is Strength Constitution. That's pretty good. Well, it's light armor. Medium, Heavy, Leg Wear, Dex Focus. That's a garbage item. So, Dex Focus again. What the hell is up with these Dex? Why are people listing Dex Focus? That's not a build. That's not a that's not a build. Okay, we're let's just go to let's just go to chest armor and go to heavy and see if there's any. Just speed it up. Okay, here we go. 100 coins for 478 gear score. We have what's the stats on it? Dex focus. Screw that. Okay, we're gonna go to head armor and go to heavy armor and see if there's one. And intelligence focus. We don't want that. Let's go to foot armor, heavy armor, scout boots, Dex con. Mm, no, we don't need dex for, for a great axe. Okay, let's go to leg armor. And I could search every town, but whatever. Uh, focus dex. So right now, it looks like this perk is not available on my server. Well, maybe on the hand armor, on heavy armor. You don't want light armor. Don't, don't be one of those guys. Let's just go to all settlements now. There we go. There's profane gauntlets, 19 strength. It's got the mending execute. Per again, pretend that's the gravity well one. It's got an empty socket. It has ink earth ward, whatever, who cares? Um, so we got most of what we wanted. It's 300 bucks at Evan Scale Reach. So there you go. You just saved yourself an entire weapon slot. So now you would go over to Great Axe. Uh, weapons, two-handed Great Axe. And then you're going to search for, you're going to take this off for one. And then you're going to search for a mod that you actually want that can only be on weapons. Like Keen. Where is Keen at? It's in the K's. H-I-J-K. There we go. So Keen gives you crit chance. Let's uh, see what axes have crit chance, okay? Here we go. This has strength, intelligence, boo. I don't want intelligence, so we're going to keep going. It's got keen, angry, or it's... Well, it's got a lot more strength. We, we could... It's $9. <laughs> wow, that's really cheap. That's actually better than what I've got. Um, but yeah, this has keen, so that increases your crit chance. And then, you know what else? Um, also, we can just go to apparel. And... Um, I believe there's a there's rings can have a crit too, but it's not called keen. It's called something else. I'd have to look it up. Um, is it keen awareness? Yeah, it's keen awareness. So now we go to rings and we get our keen awareness ring. Well, holy crap, that one's expensive. And we just find a strength ring with you know some crit chance. There's one. There's nine strength, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, say you're a great axe user. You know, you use the great axe, right? So now you have 20% crit just from the two pieces of gear that you used. Um, let's see, I think there's another... Yeah, there's another 15% crit on weaker foes, so now you're at 35% crit, and, and uh, yeah, so on and so forth. So, <laughs> uh, that that's basically how you should be gearing your character. Not And yeah, you can go craft these. You can literally spend the same amount of time that you spent all weekend long doing your legendary quest for a garbage weapon, all, all weekend long that you spent farming a legendary boss mob, the entire week, the entire week that you spent doing dungeons and farming corrupted portals to, to be able to make the keys to do the dungeons, you could just craft like 300 axes and you're guaranteed, like, also when crafting, I, I, I have a whole video where I crafted, but I just want to show you guys real quick, okay? Uh, it's in my bank. I'm not gonna go to the crafting station here. You see these little little green things that you've been collecting your whole t your whole gamer journey? Uh, it's called craft mods. Okay, these things are how you force an item to have stats, and I can't believe people don't know this. It's insane, right? Like here, let's say I'm crafting a fire staff, and I definitely want intelligence on the fire staff. I can put this item into the fire staff. And it will always have the maximum amount of plus intelligence and only plus intelligence. It won't have focus. It won't have dex. It won't have any of that crap. It will always have intelligence. I have 30 of these. I've never bought these. I've just gotten them along as I play the game and kill mobs and loot everything they drop. I have literal 30 of them. Okay? So I would use this one crafting 300 fire staffs. And I guarantee you I'm going to get a fire staff with crit. 
life steal or whatever fire staff users enjoy okay so this you're, you're absolutely gearing wrong the real progression of your character is this screen here okay it's not oh i got gear score 600 sh crappy legendaries with with stupid perks and mods you're gonna get your face stomped in okay uh, and I already showed you at the start of the video that having an item level 525 versus an item level 600 gear score weapon is less than a 20% damage increase, which you can make up for with the perks. Like uh, Backstab, uh, or I'm sorry, it's called Rogue. Let, let me just sh like, like show you real quick. Let's go down to Rogue. Uh, there it is. 19% more Backstab damage. Let's say you're into PvE or you like to attack people's backlines. Just having this one mod on your weapon automatically makes it better, okay? It automatically makes it far better. Uh, like, guys, you, you've been gearing wrong. I'm sorry that you've wasted your time, but now that you've watched my video and I've educated you on how to properly gear, now you can be more time efficient and stop wasting time doing... I'm so sick of people, oh, help me do my legendary quest, my legendary quest, your legendary quest sucks. Okay, your legendary quest was designed by people that don't know how to gear items properly for PvP or PvE, and the gear score and the the perks on these legendary quest items mostly suck. There, I think there's like one or two good ones in the entire pool. It's gonna take you all damn day, and you're gonna have to ha ask for help, and you're just wasting your time. Just go craft a better weapon, just or buy a better weapon. Just go, just go smash rocks for like ten hours, and you will be absolutely rich. Like I, right now, I have nineteen thousand coins. Okay. But what you don't know is that I have, like, I just want to show you a little bit, of, just a little bit of a flex here, okay? I've got 1,505 infused leather, 925 infused silk, 770 ironwood planks, okay? You know how much these planks are? That's like 12,000. There's another 12,000. There's another 20 to 30,000. This is at least 7 to 10,000 right here, okay? So I'm not broke. I've invested my money properly, especially with the market crash, okay? So, like, like flux right now, it's not part of the video, but... Let's sort by price, okay? 34 cents, okay? I can literally duplicate coins if I want to. I'm, I'm, I don't need to. I can go buy a bunch of iron bars. I don't even need to mine them anymore. Turn them into steel with this. I can double my steel production, okay? You see you see my, my refining? I get 90% back. I put on a refining suit. That's another 10%. I get 100% return rate. So every one steel bar I smelt... I get one free. So if I smelt a thousand steel bars, I now get two thousand. So I doubled my money. All right. And the market is not priced currently for this because people are dumb and don't know how to do math. People are pricing it for the cost of your iron bars and the cost of the flux at tier one, not even tier three. Like right now, if I search for flux, like I just showed you. All right. If I search for tier three flux, you know what? It, like here's here's tier. Oh, wow. That's actually really cheap. OK, but tier three flux. Let's see how. OK. It's priced for this, <laughs> all right? The fact that the tier the tier 4 flux is actually also the same price, like, uh, you can't use that until you're at one, level 100, and then you can't use the, the tier 5 until you're 150, but it, it, the point is, is that the market is completely screwed right now, and your money doesn't matter. What matters is the materials that you're hoarding when the market corrects itself or gets redone or changed, or when the bots all get banned and it normalizes, okay? Or when the big sweaty guilds dump their entire... Uh, wealth into just cleaning up markets. That's when the market will normalize. All right. Anyway, this is not a market video. This is a you've been gearing wrong video. And I'm so Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. If you're concerned about the downvotes, it's because either people don't agree with me or it's a salty 500,000 uh, YouTuber who happened to use. He used to own Weaver's Finn. He used to own it, but it's ours now. It's it's the yellow teams. And guess what? It's being taxed out the butt. And this is where all of him and his friends live. So he's salty. He's mad. And he's downvoting the videos. But what he doesn't know, because he's a little corporate YouTuber that just pays people uh, to do his work for him and stuff, is that the downvotes don't matter unless he watches three minutes of the video. And if he does watch three minutes of the video, then it counts as watch time. So I win either way. It's still engagement. It doesn't matter. Guys, so with that said, make sure you leave a like and a comment, especially if you're on my team and you're on my side and this video helped you out. Not waste your time doing stupid legendary quests. When you leave a like and a comment, when you do both of them, it's an algorithm cheat code. It's a YouTube combo. What does that mean? Well, a like is worth one point, a comment is worth one point in the algorithm, but doing both is worth four points, all right? Also, 81% of you aren't subscribed. I did hit 50,000 subscribers, so I really do appreciate you for that. However, uh, let's hit 100,000 so I can maybe own a house one day, okay? Like, no one in my entire family's generation have ever owned a house. 
okay? When I was born, my parents were hopping between hotels. And eventually I moved into a trailer park where I spent most of my childhood. Uh, so I've I've been a ghetto boy my entire life, and if if I had 100k subs, I, I guarantee you after like two to three years of hard saving, and I don't spend my money, all right, that I can be a house owner one day, and that's like my life goal, my life dream, okay? So to be the first in my entire family's generation to own a house would be just amazing. Um, so please help me out with that. Please subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Um, guys, I make a video every day, so I will see you in tomorrow's video. Take care.